Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, I'm Timmy. You can call me Timmy Banjo. And I film content around weight loss, food, healthy living, lifestyle, market runs, and so much more. So today I'm going to be talking about how I lost weight unconsciously. I mean, I didn't do nada to lose this weight. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you keep on watching. So before we even go any further into today's video if it's your first time here please kindly do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and give this video a thumbs up because it is vital information i have here premium info okay so i so many of you who are ogs on this channel you guys know i did not used to exercise throughout last year two years ago or since when i began my weight loss journey i just used to do diet 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 and this year i started going to the gym i was working out i was you know consistent with my workouts sometimes six six days a week and i was you know kicking it in so badly because i really wanted to reach my weight goal which is 95 kg so throughout the month of may i went to the gym just once a week once like four days and i stopped going because my gym is getting renovated i fitness is taking over my gym i mentioned that in my last video where i did the mock bank you can check here i'll leave a card here so please do check it out i fitness is taking over my gym and I have to sit at home because the other ones that are around my area are you know quite a distance so i just you know sat down in my house i do not go to the gym i don't exercise again and i've always been complaining and ranting about the fact that i really need to reach, reach my weight goal but i keep on stalling what is going on so i used to weigh 106 105 107 thereabouts i just used to fluctuate and i've been saying when am i going to reach 100 kg when am i going to reach 100 kg the only time i reached 100 kg was when i was on the keto diet and and I was doing it, you know, really good. I reached, I think, 96 kg, and that was like, you know, <laughs> really good. I was looking so nice. So I've been saying, when am I going to stop studying? When am I going to stop studying? I'm doing everything right. I'm going to the gym, eating right, doing my intermittent fasting. So, what exactly am I not doing right? You guys, this whole month where I didn't go to the gym, throughout the month of May into June, where I didn't go to the gym, I lost the weight to. All that ways I've been complaining, I've been stalling. I wasn't able to lose it. I lost it. And the fact that I did not do anything, like I didn't consciously do anything like, oh, I'm doing this exercise or I'm doing this program or I'm doing this diet to, you know, lose this weight. I didn't do anything to lose this weight. So I looked back. That's why I always tell you guys to keep track of your journey. Make sure you, you know, try and know what you are doing so that you see what works and what doesn't work. So I just looked back and thought of what, what exactly was I doing that made me lose this weight? Like I wasn't doing anything special. I didn't introduce any new diet. I didn't introduce any new, you know, exercise, nothing. So I just thought, mm, what did I really do? So I'm here to tell you guys those things I did to lose this weight. Okay. Number one is my smoothie meals. See, eh? throughout the month of May, like it's mango season, and I love mango a lot. So throughout the month of May, I stocked mango. Like, I I filmed a video where I went to the market to do my fruit runs or in the market. I'm going to leave a card here also. So please check that out where I got plenty of fruits. So we like smoothies in my house. So instead of buying the normal small, small, um, um, sizes or the normal small small fruits that we used to buy like 100 naira on 200 naira on 500 naira on i just went to the market to buy bulk so i got bulk um fruits i got a lot a lot of mangoes grapes pineapples bananas watermelon and we're having smoothie every time not even every day every say when i do when i'm just bored or oh, i need to you know chew something i need to just snack on something i'm just going to make a smoothie or a sorbet and i was taking smoothie every single day I could take uh, at least three cups in a day sometimes i take two surveys and you know i was just doing it before my meal after my meal and um, in the afternoon again when, when i need to snack on something i just need to put something in my mouth i do that also so i like to blend up like three at a time and then just store in the freezer so whenever i just feel like putting something in my mouth i'll just take it so i always take the surveys the surveys are my best because 
it's made of mango and i love mango a lot so I, sometimes i do mango flaxseed and avocado pears and it's always so thick so rich <laughs> so i do that like my ice cream is always thick creamy and filling see and once i take that i eat less and i was doing this unknowingly not knowing that this was part of what made me lose weight so most of my meals were replaced with smoothies and sorbets and is this sorbet or sorbet i don't know the t is not pronounced so that's what i was doing so the smoothie the sorbets all that helped me lose this weight also because it will help you digest your food quickly that also helped me to digest the food that was remaining in my stomach and everything you know i was always eating you know getting full and i know that i my food get digested i get hungry when i'm supposed to be hungry which brings me to my next point which is intermittent fasting so you guys know i've been doing intermittent fasting religiously since the beginning of this year but sometimes i always fall short of not doing it at all probably when i see something i want to eat or when i plan that this night though i am going to eat so 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 and so and i do eat it so unconsciously to me my body has adjusted to the time where i eat and the time where i stop eating so i can't do without breakfast mm -hmm. once it is 9 10 i have to eat like that's the limit except i'm fasting like spiritual fast so if i'm doing the intermittent fasting mm -hmm, my body just you know adjusted to it i could no longer eat in the night again even when i'm hungry there's a way my stomach is that i feel full and i just do not want to eat and if i do strong head or coconut head and end up eating mm, i'm going to have tummy pains so i don't know how my body adjusted to that so because of that i just stopped eating at night when it is 6 7 pm i stop eating and then i just wake up in the morning like mm, when did i stop eating yesterday i just use that to count you know my intermittent fasting because i didn't even intend to do the intermittent fasting but as long as I shall woken up the following day by God's grace, I can as well, you know, count it as intermittent fasting. So I just count it to like the 16th hour. And before I know it, it's 11 um, a.m., I have my breakfast. So I was doing the intermittent fasting consciously and unconsciously. So that also helped. I have tons of videos about intermittent fasting, but this is the most detailed video about intermittent fasting. Everything it entails how you can do it correctly to see results i'm going to leave that in the card up here please remember to check it out it is very very important so you need to check that out and know how to do the intermittent fasting consciously or unconsciously okay so another thing that i did was because you know i wasn't exercising so i was thinking how will i be doing now this one i'm not exercising and my watch is always reminding me like my goal on my watch is um, updated i used to have um, 1000 calories a day like i'm supposed to burn at least 1000 calories a day 10,000 steps exercise for 30 minutes like so i just updated everything so it's now i need to burn 1500 calories a day i need to have 15,000 steps then um, i need to exercise for one hour 30 minutes i updated everything and my watch will always be reminding me alpha alpha you know all those reminders that the watch used to give you apple watch and i was like oh i need to do something so, I just, so see and sometimes if i'm not going to go anywhere i don't even bother wearing that watch because it's just be reminding you to stand up do this do that so i just said you know what this one i'm wearing this watch i have to do something that will cover up this um my goal set on my watch so i used to i, I always walk rather i make sure i walk since i'm not exercising if i'm going out and i need to be at the bus stop instead of taking the bike i walk to the bus stop so that way i'm covering my exercise whatever i just set it as a um, walking outdoor walking so that way is my exercise is being covered and before you know it i'll cover my ten thousand step by the time i walk to the bus stop go to where i'm going to when i come back i walk home again so before you know it, it is always covered so i was walking and you know not that i wanted to do it to lose weight but just because to fulfill righteousness of the watch and let the watch not disturb me i had to walk so that way i think i was able to shed some weight so also i've done i've, I've started ways finally finally with sodas i don't do sodas again i don't do refined sugar i don't do anything that has like 
let me not say sweet now because obviously I take things that are sweet. So my source of sugar or my main source of sugar, where I get my sugar from, I mean once in a while I like sweet, I chew gum, but I'm saying sodas, like using refined sugar, like sugar cubes, sugar granulates, all those things, I don't take them again. My source of sugar is mostly from my fruits, where I always have like sweets, you know, properly sweet fruit, pineapples, bananas, I even put dates in my fruit so that I can be extra sweet, I can't lie. I like my 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 smoothie being sweet like i'm not taking soda so i can as well you know have the sweet life inside the healthy life so i stopped taking sodas i stopped taking refined sugars what i used to have my meal is my dates i just soak dates inside clean water and when i want to make my smoothies i use the dates it's be very very soft already i use it for the smoothie then when i want to take cereal i use the um date water it's always so sweet my god so I use the date water, so that water is like going to replace my sugar. So I do not do refined sugar, all of that. We do not know each other. So right now, if you are wondering what do I weigh, my God. The last time I climbed on the scale, I was weighing 107. So right now, when I climbed on the scale, I think yesterday, I weigh... I weigh, I weigh 101 point something kg. So I was able to lose 6 kg in about a month. And if you know the struggle, I've been struggling to lose this weight since like February. February, March, April. Like three, three months. Mm? I was able to lose it. And just unconsciously being healthy, consciously and unconsciously, I mean, all these things I'm saying, I didn't intentionally do, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No. I just, you know part of a lifestyle that's why it's good for you to choose a lifestyle you can work with so that you will not be forcing yourself to lose weight like keto i didn't say anything <laughs> so i mean i love keto diets but so you have to choose something you can turn into a lifestyle i mean i can always walk to the bus stop i can always have smoothies i can always you know stop eating by 7 pm it's no biggie no big deal for me so i'm going to show you guys what i weigh on the scale right now and and also my waistline because my waistline used to be about 39 40 but right now it's about 35 35 34 yes 35 34 so i'm going to climb on the scale now and show you guys what i weigh <laughs> So this is my um what's it called tape roll now i'm going to measure my waistline So this is 35 right here this is my waist now so this is 35 right here my waistline is about 35 then if i want it to be really really tight i have to push it all the way to 34 so yes i can wear something in the waist size 34 but for now my waist is 35 so i'll stick to 35 so here is my waist and my tummy is on flat flat so i'm moving over to the scale now So that was 100.7 so i think i weigh about 100.7 kg although i'm not eating i'm sure when i eat it will go up again i'm sure by the time i have breakfast the weight will go up again from 100.7 kg to about 102 but i'm just saying that everything i've done now i don't know if i start doing it consciously but you know i'm going to start making conscious efforts to you know try and reach my ultimate weight goal which is is it 90 i think it's 85 i don't even know if it's 90 or 85 but at least for now if i can reach 95 i'm gonna be happy so that brings us to the end of my video that is how i lost weight unconsciously by doing nothing so if you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like i mentioned earlier in fact please give this video a thumbs up